you're the most powerful citizen the world has ever seen because you live in the most powerful nation the world has ever seen. But America is only powerful because of you, the greatest American alive. Your work, your effort, what you do as a citizen every day is what makes America great. And now I look at this whole capitalist system and I'm like, fuck, man, the American citizen exists to make these people money. And I want to ask a question. Can you imagine an America where corporations existed to make the citizen wealthy? Yes. The greatest American alive. 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 And I want to take you back to a time. Mm hmm. I want to take you back to a time in 2008 when the TARP program came out, the Temporary Assets Relief Program, and we bailed out big businesses. Yes, we bailed out banks. We bailed out car companies. We bailed out all these god doggone billion-dollar businesses. And what did the American person, what did you, the greatest American life, get in return? You ain't get dilly squat, huh? You started paying more in interest rates. The cost of the goods in which we're buying went up right now. Cars cost more than they ever have in the history of the motherfucking world. They cost more than the, uh, the average uh, American employee makes in a year. God dog on it. That's how expensive cars have gotten. But do we fight back? Fuck no. Ford, General Motors. Man, listen here. If you save the car company, you the greatest American life. If you save Cadillac, guess what you need? A goddamn Cadillac. You hear me? If you the greatest American alive, if you sell, if you say Ford, you know what the fuck you need? One of those brand new Ford Lightning trucks. And nigga, we ain't motherfucking asking you. We goddamn telling you, come here, American car companies. You owe the American people. Ford, I need 100,000 brand new cars to the most economically challenged people in America. You listening to me? General Motors, Cadillac, motherfucker, I need 100,000 cars to the most economically challenged people in America. Nigga, you're not finna come over here and destroy American economy by sending your car companies overseas and shit. Down to Mexico and shit. You doing all this fuck shit as you destroy the American worker and you think that the American uh, uh, citizen should be loyal to you? Hell no, we're not beholden to no goddamn company. Fuck no, This the days of the American worker only existing to turn profits for American companies is over. But the only way we end this nonsense is if you demand the things that are rightfully yours, yes? We're not going to sit over here and turn these companies into billion, trillion dollar companies. You get nothing in return. Hell no, they're not going to continue to turn a profit at the expense of the American worker. We're not going to allow what you listening to me. Walmart has created a, a class of, of poor citizens, working poor, yes? You clock in every day, and when you go to Walmart, they tell you finna collect uh, food stamps. They tell you. Your children finna be on Medicare or Medicaid, whatever that damn program is. This is a guarantee, okay? So when you treat the American worker like that, I tell you what, man. Walmart, you got a million employees in America, more than a million employees. That's what you're going to do. A hundred million homes for American citizens, yes? For the most economically challenged, disadvantaged families in America, we want 100,000 homes every year, okay, for the next 10 years. Listen to me. I need you to cover the million employees in which that you have. They're not going to live in perpetual poverty as you become a motherfucking trillion-dollar corporation. We're not going to allow it. Every company that received money from the TARP program or the PPP program, nigga, we want our money. Every company that outsourced their labor and sent it to Mexico or Indonesia or China or Taiwan or wherever, wherever the fuck you sent your labor to, you owe the American person whatever the product, whatever the good, whatever the service is. You have to reinvest in the American people. The American people are not going to continue to invest in America with their lives. They're not going to continue to invest in your companies with their lives and not get shit in return. Hell no. Those days are fucking over. The American person, I'm going to steal this shit from whoever the son of a bitch said that uh, that the big capital is too big to fail. They said J.P. Morgan Chase is too big to fail. They said the Lehman Brothers is too big to fail. Well, goddamn Project Daddy tells you right now that you, the greatest American alive, are too big to fucking fail. The American citizen is too big to fucking fail. And if these fucking companies don't understand that shit, then we're going to come through with uh, 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 all the protests. You hear me? There's a company called Uber, right? I use this shit Uber everywhere, motherfucking. It's in the songs, right? They got their employees using their own vehicles to drive American citizens around. Man, I remember Taxi Cab. Taxi Cab, Yellow Cab, bought the taxis, and the people drove the taxis, made a wonderful wage, had vacation time, and all of a sudden, Uber comes in, undercuts the market, and then they have people driving their own vehicles and pay them goddamn chump change. I'm t hey, listen here. Uber is in collusion with Hertz Rental Car. I have a friend who was driving for Uber and they had him in a $1,000 rental. 
$214 a week plus taxes and everything for him to drive around American citizens. This man's investment was $1,000 a month before he could turn a profit. Come here, Uber, you nasty motherfucker. Listen here what you're going to do. You're going to buy your all of your goddamn driver's cars, okay? And you're going to pay the bulk of that motherfucker, all right? And they're going to drive and they're going to turn a profit and they're going to turn a profit for themselves as you are just a liaison that puts me in connection with the with the driver. That's it. That's all the fuck you do. And so we're going to pay you like 5% of total revenue, motherfucker. That's you, Uber. And all the rest of the money is going to go to the drivers who drive these wonderful cars to drive around you, the greatest American law of American citizens. We ain't playing no motherfucking games, okay? And you're going to break that shit down in like two-year contracts to make sure that these people have transportation in America as they move America forward. And that's what we're going to tell Ford. That's what we're going to tell every American car company, God damn it. We're moving America forward. You're going to buy Americans' homes. You're going to buy Americans' cars because Americans goddamn deserve it because they invested in your motherfucking country, not only with their money, but with their fucking sweat labor, nigga. They invest in your companies with their lives, and the American citizen ain't fucking playing no more. Big business has been colluding against the middle class and the poor class for too goddamn long, and now they can kiss my motherfucking ass. I know you look at Project Day in a fucking robe, and you think, who the hell is this nigga? I'm a real American citizen who rolled out of bed and said, God damn, you got to fight back against this motherfucking monopoly that's a collusion of big business and the state, huh? The American government passed legislation to make sure the big business is more important than you. And I'm here to tell you that you, the greatest American alive, ain't nothing more motherfucking valuable than you. Without you, don't none of this shit exists. Without you, there is no Apple. Without you, there is no Ford. Without you, there is no Amazon or Walmart. And so the moment you choose to divest, take your money out of the goddamn stores, then these bitches will fucking fail. And so before you fail, you big goddamn corporations, you better respect the American worker. You better respect the greatest American life because we're coming for all of our goddamn money. We're coming for all of our goddamn goods. And you can't motherfucking stop us here. Tell the truth and get some motherfucking power. The truth is the American citizen is the most powerful citizen the world has ever seen because they live in the most powerful nation the world that the world has ever seen because of the hard work, effort, the determination, American Exceptionalism is real because Americans are exceptional because you are the greatest American life. Get your house and get your motherfucking car. It's yours. The greatest American life. You are the greatest American alive. The greatest American alive. The greatest American alive.